I'm going to have to go classic on this one. I don't have so much time. I'm in between running, between learning the Heilige Torah and trying to play games with kids. And ah, ain't nothing like quarantine. So there's a classic idea I want to share with you, which I imagine someone has said. But uh, if not, great. And if yes, great. It's always great. Everything's great. So we are now in the time period of Sphere Omer. And Sphere Omer is something which... Uh, it's got to think about, think about what's going on over here. It's not in the classic sense we know when we're, when we have, when we're going towards something, we have a countdown, you know? It's like five, four, three, two. But if you sound like that, it's one, two, three, four, five. So it was a little strange. And my friends, the reason is because we're growing, we're growing. And, and the goal is to grow. That's really the goal. The sad thing in my life, I, I can't speak for any of you guys out there because I don't know what you're doing, what you ain't doing, but I can say the sad thing in my life is that we talk a lot about ideas like this and we hear a lot of classes and a lot of talks, and but how many of us really take something on that we're going to change? And you know, when the, the when people discuss the idea of growth, so many reference the Mishnah Perkiavos, but every day you take on something else and whatever, dare I suggest taking one thing and really working on that thing and, and every day trying to raise a level in that area raising the level in that area whether it's i don't know i don't know i i mean i don't want to go with the like lush and hara which everybody's talking about how about um all right lush and hara. don't speak lush and hara tefillah being all them the way that we deal with our siblings and with our parents with our spouses i don't know where this is going if anyone's married not married Hi, <sighs> but um, to really take something and to really take it to heart, to really work on it. We know that Claudio was on the 49th level of Tumah when we left Eretz Yisrael. When we, what am I talking about? We didn't leave it. When we left Mitzrayim. We're in the 49th level of Tumah. And, and we build ourselves up. The Rebona Shem gave us a gift where we ended up on the 50th level of Tahara, of, of, of purity. And now what we're trying to do is raise the roof. Raise the roof to take day by day and raise ourselves to be on a higher level. You know, I think it'd be worthwhile to maybe even take a pen and a paper and write down right now that there is something that I feel like I should be growing in, some area I should be growing in. And uh, every day before you go to bed, when you count Sphira, some of you are like, I lost my bracha already. Okay, but maybe at least count, still count, even without a bracha. Ask yourself, so how did you do today? Have a conversation with yourself. So how did you do today? Let's say your name is Rivka or Yechevet, Sara, Bracha, Sprinci, Jacqueline, Jokanin, um, Elizabeth, Paulina, Shaniqua. You say, Rivka, so how did you do today? Uh, yeah, well, you know, I think I messed up a little bit. Mm, okay. Do you think we can do a little bit better tomorrow? Yeah. Where do you feel you messed up? Well, this particular area. How do you think you could change that? Every day ask yourself, how did you do? I think when you reach Shavuos, we'll be able to say the Rebona song. I can't tell you I worked on everything. I shut my can't, but I can tell you I took something. And I really feel, I don't know if I mastered it, but I'm definitely different today, Shavuos, than I was the second day of Pesach when we started this thing. I want to show all of you Hatzloch and Bracha. And may Hashem give you the Koach to pick the right thing and to do the exercises every day. And with that, the Be'ez Hashem, only with Hashem's help, not only will maybe even other people around us gain because we've grown, not only will we gain, but we'll gain in more ways than we could ever imagine. Yo, okay, that's so good, Abba.